immortality <laughs> in one word. So, responsibility would be another word. And uh, hope, a third. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> the big question is whether humanity is sustainable. I once wrote a paper with this title, Sustainability of Humanity, in one of the workshops here at this conference, five years ago. And uh, I came to the conclusion that this is the real problem for the planet. And we need young people and engineers to devote their efforts to to the planet being remaining sustainable. Uh, but then we are too soon to this, uh, we have come to almost too soon to the main problem which I'm working on for the last three years, which is whether a certain experiment which is being done on our planet is not at variance with the ideology and hope for sustainability. Uh, because science sometimes is dangerous to sustainability. And environmental engineers uh, should not be enemies to scientists and should not be afraid of science. But science doesn't know enough about sustainability and about the responsibility that goes with doing science, with having in mind the fact that we want this yeah, this planet and our culture and, and the smile of human beings <laughs> to remain. If you come from the outside into a field, with one foot in the field, usually uh, you are more in the field than the people who are always inside because uh, this other foot outside makes you stronger inside. Not killing unnecessarily parts of your division or parts of what you are doing. Okay. Keeping half of it in case, uh, so you have only always one leg left. We talked about two legs, one leg from the outside. And, and here again, the one leg should remain. Otherwise you are not reliable. And without reliability, no sustainability. Whenever you change something in an institution or in a firm, change only half of the institution, half of the firm. Then, if something is wrong with your new idea, or if it doesn't work for external reasons, then you still have left the other half. So then you can return. Usually, if, if politicians make changes, they make an all or nothing change. And this idea of leaving maybe only 10% untouched can make you feel much safer with the 90%. And it doesn't change anything in the equation. It's only that you, this way, sh not only show your good character, <laughs> which is also important, but also that you know that fate is not completely predictable. So relying on safety is, is, is a virtue that pays in this context, I believe. This brings me back to my main problem at the moment. I have uh, I've predicted that there's a, chance, a danger that after five years, the Earth will be shrunk to two centimeters, which is the opposite of sustainability. <laughs> and so I'm fighting at the moment that CERN will talk with me to disprove a proof that I have that the experiment on little black holes that they are doing is so dangerous, as I just said. And for some reason they don't believe me because my findings are too, too big to be believable. But they can be disproved if they are wrong. And they have not been disproved. And in science you have to rule that as long as you have not disproved something, you cannot act. And CERN is trying <clears throat> to do this. At the it's doing it, actually. And the, the, fortunately the luminosity, the luminosity, the strength of the experiment in terms of numbers, is still only 1% of the maximum, but maybe next week they will be already at the maximum. And then it's too late. So I, uh, it's the problem of sustainability of humanity suddenly is my most important problem in my life. <laughs>